Hello! Welcome or welcome back. My name is Ari, and today is my June TBR. As always, I'm going to start out with my Dungeon of Books TBR that really fucks with my camera's white balance. But this month I'm also participating in Whatever You want a thon so I will have my TBR for that later. I will also have the books that I am reading this month for my two year-long book club book challenge things, which are Buzzwordathon and book and the book covered book club. So let's get into Dungeon of Books first. Before we get into that, let's talk about the books that I read for May. And did I finish them? What did I think? You know, like the basic stuff. So the first rule was a book by a BIPOC author, and for that I read These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. It was okay. Next up was a book from a book box, and for that I read Glass Town Game by Catherine M. Valenti, or I started reading it. I DNF this. This was trash. Uh, you're gonna see that the choices that I made for this month, not, not great. Next up, <laughs> for a classic, I read Tess of the D'Ubervilles by Thomas Hardy. This was one of my five star predictions for this year. And I gave it a one star because this was utter garbage. <laughs> I was considering DNF it, but I really wanted to give it a one star, so I finished reading the book instead. Rule number four was a book from a genre that I don't typically read from, and for this I read The Last Story of Mina Lee by Nancy Juyun Kim, and I chose this because this was t contemporary, um, just contemporary fiction, just general contemporary fiction, uh, which is not something that I read too particularly often, and I DNF'd this too. <laughs> the final book uh, was an audiobook, and that was The Promised Land by Barack Obama, which was a book I needed to read off of my Goodreads Choice TBR for the year, and you know what? This one wasn't bad at all. <laughs> Uh, I don't like politics, and I'm not going to give it anything more than a three star, but apparently it's very boring, but I didn't hate it, which this is the one on my TBR that I actually expected to DNF, and it probably ended up being the best out of all of the five that I read. So that was unfortunate, but... The TBR game was very, very nice to me in May, which means I'm going to roll, like, all the doubles in June. Like, it's just guaranteed that this game is going to screw me over this month. So let's get into roll number one and see how evil this game is to me this month. Roll number one. is a fuck you, which is a 20. So as you just saw, rule number one was a fuck you, which is a natural 20, which for me means I can read any book that I want to at all. Typically, I choose to reserve this prompt or like this role for books that are on my five star predictions list and this month is absolutely no different and so for this one I am going to read The Buried Giant by Kazu Ishiguro. Now this is a fantasy story by Kazu Ishiguro. It was published years ago um, but I adore his writing and I want to read everything that he's written and this is one of the few things that I haven't read by him. So we're gonna read this Hopefully it's a five star, as predicted. Roll number two. We're just gonna go directly opposite and do a fuck me. Roll number two and I see 
the die has a sense of humor because we got a natural 20 last roll so why not get a natural one this roll like it's the only thing that makes sense so for this um it's a book that i absolutely do not want to read and I always feel like it's hard to choose a book that you don't want to read because you're always going to choose out of like books that you don't want to read you're going to choose the one that you want to read most. So I have a contingency plan for this that some of you may have seen before. Might I introduce you to my Jar of Doom? Now this is filled with all the books on my physically owned TBR that I have no interest in reading for multiple different reasons. So I am going to pull a book out of here and whatever book comes out of here is the book I'm going to read. So let's see what I get. I want this one. This one kind of dive bombed in there, but this is the one I, I, I feel. I feel this is a good one. And this is, oh, fuck me. <laughs> so, if I was to go and say, what book on my TBR I want to read least, this would be that book. <laughs> so, thank you, Jar of Doom, for being a complete asshole and telling me that I need to read The Saddest Girl in the World by Kathy Glass. Now this is a non-fiction story about a neglected child, which is by far the worst trope that ever exists. It's not even a trope because this is a true story, but I hate reading about abused children. Like one of the top two things that I want to read least about is abused children. And you're probably wondering, like, why the fuck do you own this book if you know you're not gonna like it? Well, this was a Christmas present from my Imager Secret Santa. Uh, basically, I was stupid enough to say that I like sad books without, like, saying, like, I don't like, I like sad books, but I don't want to see, like, tortured children. <laughs> so they got me this book and uh, I, there's a huge likelihood that I'm just going to DNF this but it is on my TBR now and I'm, I'm going to give it at least a shot and be miserable the whole time I'm reading it. Roll number three is an eight. Oh, there we go. It's an eight tiebreaker is a 12. Roll number three, uh, we got an eight followed by a 12 for the tiebreaker. So this gives me a horror book. And for this, I'm going to read an arc because I am like right at that 80% on NetGalley and I, I need to like clear some of my backlist off. And so I have this arc called uh, The Between by Ryan Leslie. I know it's a horror story, but I don't really know what it's about. But obviously it interested me at one point since I requested it. So very awesome cover. I like it a lot. This is what I'm going to read. Number four. Four that is a sixteen tiebreaker is a twenty. Roll number four. I got a 16 followed by a 20 and that gives me a book with a pretty cover. This is both easy and hard for me because I think most book covers are pretty, but specifically for this prompt I'm going to read The Wicker King by A or by Kay Ankrum. Um, I just think, I think this looks really cool. And for some reason, the kid on the cover of this looks like Henry Cavill to me. Uh, even though, like, up close he doesn't at all, but, like, from a distance, 
like at first glance I'm like is that Henry Cavill? No it's some like teenage kid who's much <laughs> much younger but I think this cover is really pretty but also like the inside of the book is really pretty if you can't see like how this changes colors that's because as the book goes on it gets darker and darker and darker and I think that's just awesome so this is my choice for pretty cover number five is a That is a 12. And the tiebreaker is a 17. So, roll number five, and I can't believe I did not get any doubles. Like, next month is going to be so cursed. Like, so cursed. <laughs> But for roll number five, I got a 12 and then a 17. All of the tiebreakers were the high tiebreakers, which sure, why not? It doesn't really matter either way. I didn't plan out like what would be low and what would be high. It was mostly like the first word I thought of was low and the second word was high. So whatever. Um, this is a new release book and for this one obviously I need to read The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the third book in the Blood and Ash series and I I don't know if this is the final book or if there's a fourth book but this is fantasy romance. I've enjoyed the first two books so far um, and it's thick but it reads really quickly so I didn't have an excuse to read this last month when it came out and I really didn't have an excuse to read this in June but then the die gave me an excuse to read this book so I was allowed to prioritize it. And that's the Dungeons and Books TBR for this month which is... I, I'm okay with this. I'm concerned about what's going to happen after this month, but I'm okay with this. From here, let's talk about my plans for the whatever you want a thon. Now, this is a read a thon where you kind of read whatever you want. There are 15 prompts, and I'm going to give you the books that I plan to read for each of these prompts. Um, and you pick a team. My team is epic and high, so I get extra bonus points for reading books that are fantasy which is what I mostly read anyway, though not all of the books that I have on this TV are going to be fantasy. Um, also, you pick however many books you want to read. I picked 20, which probably a little high, but I could read 20 books in a month. I'm not super concerned about that. And then you get, you just get points. So it's kind of like whatever you want, but then there's points. And to win you need 2,000 points. If I read 20 books and follow absolutely none of the prompts, I get <laughs> all 2,000 points and I am, I'm fine. So <laughs> there's that. But just for shits and giggles, I found a book for 14 out of 15 of the prompts. One of them I'm not fulfilling, but I'll tell you about that when we get there. And I may or may not read all of these books these, this month. These are the books that are like guaranteed on my TBR to read. The Whatever You Want a Thon are ones that I have planned but may or may not get to depending on circumstances. So the first prompt is a cover that reminds you of a pride flag. Not necessarily just the rainbow pride flag but any pride flag. So for this I am going to read Ace what Asexuality Reveals About Desire, Society, and the Meaning of Sex by Angela Chin. Now, this book is obviously about asexual representation and it does like fit the colors of the ace pride flag, uh, which I will put down here, but interestingly enough, it fits the color of the non-binary pride flag even better than the ace pride flag. So I'm going to read this book and have it represent the non-binary flag. Prompt number two is reread a comfort read. So this one I probably won't read this month, but if I get to it, 
I'm going to read my favorite book of all time, which is Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, this one is a lower priority read, but it might be on there. Next up for number, for prompt number three is a five star prediction. And you know what? I can read, like I rolled that in my game to read The Buried Giant, so I can read that for it, but I'm saving that for a prompt later on. So for this one, I'm gonna read a different five star read, which is Rhapsodic by Laura Thalassa. Um, and again, this one is a little bit lower priority, but something I'm very excited to read. So if I can use this as an excuse to read it, then I'm gonna use the excuse. Next up for number four is an author's debut. So for this one, I went to the Goodreads Choice like debut author nominations for 2020 and then picked one of the books off of there that I'm interested in reading. And that is The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. And I believe this is horror, maybe? I'm not sure, but I wanna read this so it goes on the TBR. Next for number five is a book that is out of my comfort zone, so for this I'm going to read another Goodreads book which is historical fiction and that is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. Uh, this is the story of Shakespeare's son Hamnet and I've heard nothing but good things about it but I just don't typically read historical fiction. So slightly excited but not overhyping it for myself. Next, number six is a book that I hauled last year, and for this one, th this is this is where the buried giant comes in. This is a book that I hauled last year, so I just hit myself in the face with the book. <laughs> so this is the one that I'm going to read for a book that I hauled last year. Next up, prompt. Next up, prompt number seven is a book that is independently published or self-published, and for this one, I am going to read. Trans Wizard Harriet Porber in the Bad Boy Parasophilus by Chuck Tingle. <laughs> now, this is a book that exists for no reason whatsoever other than to call out J.K. Rowling and her turfish bullshit. And this is, I believe, fantasy erotica, but has nothing to do with like the subject matter or the themes of. Harry Potter series. It just has a similar name, but make it trans. But the story has completely nothing, nothing at all to do with, nothing, nothing at all to do with Harry Potter. So this one, I, I love, <laughs> I love everything about this. And this is self-published. And just to note, Chuck Tingle is like an award-winning author. <laughs> So I expect this to actually be pretty fucking good. For prompt number eight, it is a book with POC rep or person of color rep. And for this, I am going to read The Deep by River Solomon. Uh, I have really liked all of River Solomon work that I've read so far. They're a, a fantastic writer. And uh, this is a short story that they wrote, I think this came out last year or maybe the year before. And this is about mermaids, but the mermaids are the descendants of pregnant black women who have died uh, crossing the Atlantic during like the slave trade. And then their fetuses became mermaids. And um, they retain like all of the memories of their forebears and but because it's so traumatic like their history only one mer person has all of the memories of their forebears and that and i believe this book follows that person and like they're suffering through all of these memories that they don't want because it's obviously super fucking traumatic, but it's very short. Um, I've heard mixed things about this, and I know River Solomon's writing is really fucking weird, but I like the weird that I've gotten so far from them, so excited to read this. Prompt number nine is a poll, and I 
And there was a place for polls on the Discord server, so that's where I went. And the four books that I put up for the poll were Ace, What Asexuality Reveals About Desire, Society, and the Meaning of Sex by Angela Chin. This book is Gay by Juno Dawson. Trans Wizard Harriet Porber and the Bad Boy Parasophilus by Chuck Tingle. And Beyond the Gender Binary by Alok, I think is how you say their name. I'm not entirely sure on that one. Apologies. And the book that won was This Book is Gay by Juno Dawson. So I'm going to read this book. It matches my glasses. Next up, prompt number 10 is a book that fits in a TBR game. And hey, I just played a TBR game. So let's, let's grab a book from there. <laughs> For this one, I'm gonna read Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armantrout. Technically, I can read literally anything that I just had off of that TBR, but this is the official one. Next up, prompt 11. This is the prompt that I'm not going to do and it's a buddy read. I just, don't tend to buddy read anything with anybody. I read like really fast <laughs> and I don't usually stay on a book for more than like a day or two. So um, I don't know. I, I haven't been drawn to any of the buddy reads um, or to buddy reading in general. So I'm just going to skip this one. No big deal. Prompt number 12 is a book with disability rep. And for that, I'm going to read Disfigured by Amanda Leduc. And this is, uh, like, the nonfiction, I believe, about disability in fairy tales. And I don't know much more about it. I've heard, I've heard good things about it, but I don't know a whole, whole lot about it. But I believe it's, like, an essay collection, though I'm not entirely sure. But I'm interested. I'm going to read it. Next up is a creator's favorite. And for this one, since I am on team Epic High, I want to read a book, a favorite of one of the team like representatives. So that's either Becca from Becca in the Books or Cody from Cody's Book Corner. And I looked at the three favorites they have on the list and I've read two books that are favorites of both of them. So like that didn't help. It's like I like, I, I share taste with both of them. But, but Cody from Cody's Book Corner, one of her favorite books is my favorite book of all time, which is Elantris. So I'm going to read the third book on her list, which is The Wicker King by Kay Ingram. Number 14 is a book with a cover that fits your team's colors. And my team color is black. So a lot of these books would fit that. But for this one, I'm going to read The Between by Ryan Leslie, which is a horror arc. Uh, it's not only is the cover black, but it's scary too. Like the color, the color black's not scary. I'm just making shit up now. And Prompt number 15. This one I don't really have a specific book for, but I'm going to explain it anyway. This is the last letter of the previous title is the same as the first letter of this title. <laughs> so basically what that means, as soon as I finish reading Hamnet, which ends in a T, I need to read any of the millions of books on my TBR that start with the letter T. So it like most of... Uh, good portion of these start with the word the. <laughs> so I could read The Year of the Witching, The Buried Giant, Trans Wizard Harriet Porber and the Bad Boy Parasophilus, The Deep, This Book is Gay, The Wicker King, or any other book that I have that starts with the letter T. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Hamnet and the letter T, that was just like the broadest example. But I'll make sure that I read something that begins with the letter T after Hamnet and get points for that. Easy. Done. All right, and that is the somewhat existing TBR for Whatever You want a -thon. Now let's go in to my books for Buzzwordathon and Booked Covered Book Club. So for Buzzwordathon, 
The buzzword this month is a book with somebody's name in the title, and for that I'm going to read Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell, because Hamnet is the, the child's name. For Book Cover to Book Club, the prompt this month is to read a book that matches the Pantone color of the year. And there are two Pantone colors this year, which are like yellow and gray, but this is specifically the yellow co uh, color of it, so a bright yellow book. And for this one, I am using it as an excuse to finish off the Throne of Glass series and read Kingdom of Ash, which is the final book. I'm excited. <laughs> I couldn't fit this on my TBR anywhere else. <laughs> But I was like, oh my god, the cover's yellow. I can read it this month. <laughs> the final thing on my TBR this month is the Shannara books for this month, and this month it is the Heritage of Shannara, which is a four book series. That is these books right here, so I will be reading these throughout the month as well. Anyway, that's everything. What do you think? Let me know what you think about my TBR. Let me know if you're going to read any of these books, have read any of these books, what you think about anything in this video at all, down in the comments below. And if you want to know what my opinions of these as I read them, I have a mid-month and an end of the month wrap up, so subscribe so you can come back and get my thoughts on these books once I get through them. Anyway, thank you for being here. See you next time.